I'm testing out the brand new playlist search engine, which is designed to find the curator contact info for thousands of playlists. And it's made by DistroKid. It's only available on the ultimate pricing plan, and I can't wait to road test it out. We're gonna start by searching something unique like UK rap and seeing how many playlist contacts we can get out of the search. And they have a disclosure message that makes it clear that if someone is asking for payment, it's probably a fraud and they're probably going to put botted plays which can risk your song getting taken down. And the right type of curators are open to getting submissions for the love of the art. So you have to click, I understand, and you search for contacts and it runs it through a quick little search. You connect with your Spotify account, which takes a second, and then it just loads up the searches. And this is looking for all the playlist curators who have email addresses in the about section of their playlist. And it's combing through thousands and thousands of different playlists, trying to figure out that keyword UK rap that I'm testing, where does it feature? And this is not going to go after Spotify editorials, it's going to go after user generated playlist, which arguably there's more power in that. Because if someone has made their own curation of UK rap or R&B or country or metal or whatever, and then you rank high enough in their playlist, you're going to get an additional number of streams. You're going to attract ongoing fans who are going to follow your artist profile and it gives you a full streaming lift across your brand. That can even translate into a social media uplift if the fan loves your music enough to go and search you out on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube and more. And so there's a win-win scenario by getting into these playlists. And my strategy how to do this would be to build a database. And so as you search for different uh, terms every single day, you'd write down all the contact information in a nice little table. So you can have the name of the playlist, their email address, what genre they accept. And if you had that very simple structure, you could continue to add to that list every single day. I believe you get up to 20 credits a day using Playlister by DistroKid. So times 365 days in a year, you can build a substantial list. And so now that that's almost loaded up, we can dive in and see what results has given us. So it's off the bat, it's a playlist called Chill UK Rap, UK Rap and Drill, Radio Rap UK, France and UK, and so on. It has a number of subscribers that each platform has and it has the contact information as a preview. So even before clicking on this, I can see the email. And as the pop-up appears, it finally comes with their contact information here. So this is what I'd be putting in. I have the name of the playlist, the number of subscribers, the contact information, and the genre is UK rap. And so that was one of my credits for today. And you keep going down, you go specifically to Birmingham UK Rap, UK Rap of last year, 2023. And you keep doing this and you can see how many people you could contact in just one day from one search. And especially if there's a hyper relevant thing like women of UK Rap or something like best of UK Rap, emotional chill UK Rap, you can even see how your song is automatically gonna fit into a category really well and increase the likelihood of you getting accepted. I think this is an amazing tool. What they've built here is got so much application for building a contact list so that when you have a new song that's out, you can hit up an email personalized to each one of these contacts and get their consideration to amplify your content and your streams. You couple that alongside a social media campaign, you're going to be laughing all the way to your first 10 to 50k streams per song. So let's try another example just to show it's not a fluke. I'm going to go something more like... I'm going to go Ama Piano. I'm really getting into that kind of African house music right now. And so it's going to run another search. And I don't know why it takes seven different search bots to do it, but that shows it's looking up a verifiably tracked way of doing this process. And it's not using a database of emails that already exist. It's doing a fresh search every single time. Let's talk about pricing. So the DistroKid Ultimate Plan is available at $7.50 per month or $90 if you pay annually. So you make a 40% savings by paying the whole lot in one go. And you know, $90 is what, 65, 70 pounds in UK money. And so that's the investment in your career. 
It's a lot cheaper than doing a playlist campaign, a lot cheaper than having a PR or a press team or a radio team going out and servicing your record for you. This is the hustle and this is what it takes sometimes as you're starting up to get that capital. And so this DistroKid playlist that is only available on the ultimate tier is that last one here, the search engine for playlist contact info. And if you want to get started, you can sign up using my list, which is distrokid.com forward slash VIP forward slash all about helping. Huge love to the family at DistroKid for supporting this channel. I wanted to make a dedicated video all about this brand new feature just to show some love for how much support they've been given over the last couple of months. I think this is a phenomenal tool. I highly recommend you give it a try. The best thing that could happen is that you build an amazing database. The worst thing that happens is your investment goes into the ultimate plan. You get all the other features the DistroKid offers and you get a couple of emails out of this. So again, I think there's a strong chance this can be a game changer for every single one of you. So give it a try, Playlister by DistroKid. If you enjoyed this video, I've made a brand new playlist about all the different tech tools and software that I co-sign for an artist in their career. And so head to this playlist to watch it next and get all the discount links to sign up.